All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Friday Flow, Friday morning. My name is Ellen. I know we have some new people on class today. So Friday Flow is a yoga-inspired workout with lots of stretching. So you're gonna need a mat today and also a pillow. And for now, we can start with our pillow off to the side. And I'd like everyone to start down on their back in sort of a relaxation pose which is what we normally do at the end of class. But we're gonna do it in the beginning of class to check in with ourselves this morning and see how we're feeling. So you're gonna lay down on your back. And really this can look however you want it to look. So I like to keep my knees bent to give my lower back a little more support. You can reach your arms overhead if you like, that feels good or maybe legs are straight out. Again, whatever you like for just a minute. And while you're here, I'd like you guys to close your eyes. And let's just sort of set our mind frame for class today. So for the next 45, 50 minutes, let's just set our focus onto ourselves and our bodies. You can even place your hand on your chest and your other hand on your belly if you'd like to focus on your breathing a little bit. Again, whatever is relaxing for you, we're gonna stay there just for a little bit longer. Just gonna check in, make sure everyone's here and okay. So maybe you have something that's on your mind that you've been thinking about all week. And for the next 45 minutes, you just want to let it go and not have to worry about anything. If you find your mind wandering, bring it back to your breathing. You can always bring it back to your breathing. Notice how you're breathing. Is it shallow? Are you able to take deep breaths? Are you able to easily quiet yourself down? Were you feeling maybe a little anxious this morning? So without any judgment, we're not here to judge our, ourselves or our bodies, but we're just checking in. How are we feeling this morning? What do we need to work on? Maybe our hips are tight, our shoulders are feeling kind of tight. We need a good stretch. Then go ahead and just slowly start to move your head from side to side. You can start to open your eyes back up. And we're gonna reach those arms all the way overhead and extend our legs nice and straight out in front of us. And just take a good deep breath here. Inhale, you're gonna squeeze every muscle in your body. And exhale, we're gonna let it go. So let's do that one more time. Inhale, squeeze every muscle in your body. And exhale, let it go. We're going to bend our knees so that we can roll over to one side gently, nice and easy here. We're gonna to come to a seated position. So if you have your pillow, you can sit on top of your pillow. So it might feel good if you have tight hips this morning or you're just feeling a little sore from your workouts earlier this week. I like to sit on a pillow. It's good if you don't have a yoga block with you. So we're gonna reach up and over to the left side here and just get right into that side body stretch. Then we're gonna slowly come down. So we're gonna do this with a little bit of movement, inhale and exhale over and we're going to do this two more times before we stay to that side and just hold that stretch so we're going to do it one more time inhale i want you to really ground your hips here exhale reach over to the left with that right arm and here we're going to hold this for a couple of breaths so with every breath finding a little more length 
Maybe you lower down to your forearm if you can reach a little further. We're gonna go ahead and just take our gaze up as we start to twist open through the chest and the shoulder. Pressing down through that right hip, reaching over another inch. And then let's slowly come back up to the center. So it should have felt that stretch all through the side body from the hip up to the rib cage. Let's just roll the shoulders. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So that left palm reaches up, inhale and exhale. And come back to the center. So a couple times before we actually hold it, just in case we just woke up, not quite fully stretched out yet, we're getting there and reach. And last time right here, we're gonna reach it over. And this time we're going to hold it. So again, I want you to think of pressing down and grounding through your left hip as you reach over with every breath, trying to find a little more length here. Now maybe we start to open up through the chest and take our gaze up to our arm as we continue to breathe, maybe we lower to our forearm. One more breath. And then slowly come back to the center and we'll roll those shoulders back. Okay, we're gonna take our hands on top of our knees here and just start to create circles with our upper body and our torso. So we're gonna lean forward a little bit. So we inhale and then exhale, we come back around. So it might feel a little funny at first, but we're making circles here with our upper body. Just starting to wake ourselves up nice and easy. Just like we would do in a cat-cow position. And we'll do one more this direction. Do whatever feels good for you this morning. And then we'll switch and go to the other direction. Just nice and easy. Big circles here. Inhale and exhale. We'll do two more. Noticing where that tension is, if you're feeling any this morning, maybe thinking of certain areas to work on as we go through class today. And then go ahead and release. Okay, we're gonna come out of this seated position and then find a tabletop. So just gently come off that pillow, or maybe you had a yoga block with you. We can just move it off to the side. So now we're gonna find our tabletop position where our hands are right under our shoulders and knees are under our hips. And we'll come right into that cat-cat. So as we inhale, we're gonna lift the chest. Our belly drops to the mat. And then exhale, we tuck that chin into our chest and we round the spine. I want you to really exaggerate this movement as we stretch through it. Inhale, we lift, belly drops, and exhale, chin to chest. Pull those abs in. Big, big stretch here. And just cycling through this, inhale and exhale, really at your own pace. If you're not sure, you can follow me. Maybe it's your first time doing this or it's been a while. But really there's no right or wrong way to do these stretches. We are all here to practice together and get a good stretch. So now let's come back to the neutral spine and we're gonna create circles in our tabletop position. So we move forward a little bit, you're gonna feel that stretch in your wrists and then we're just gonna circle it back. So just like we did seated, we're gonna make circles. You can make them as big or as small as you like. Maybe you sit way back there. And we'll just do one more in this direction. And now we're going to reverse that direction. And then we'll get ready for our first downward facing dog of the day, perhaps. So small or big circles here, whatever you like. We'll do two more. Last one here. All right, let's bring those hands to the very top of our mat. We're gonna spread those fingers. We're gonna push our feet back just a little bit, tuck our toes, 
hips go back as we inhale and exhale. We extend our legs straight up into that downward facing dog. So we're gonna go ahead and pedal those heels, walk our dogs. Maybe some of us did that this morning. Just drop those heels down one at a time, nice and easy. You're gonna hold this pose right here a couple times throughout class. I'll come up to the screen just to see you guys and, and see your poses. Keep working through that pose even if I move or walk around. I want you to press your chest towards your thighs here. You're gonna hold it for a couple more seconds. I want you to completely relax your head while you're here and then inhale let's go ahead and find a plank position remembering those modifications maybe the knees come down for that little extra support for our back this morning you're going to continue to hold that plank if you need that extra challenge maybe one leg is lifted hold this right here now while you're in your plank i want you to tuck your hips under to flatten your back and engage your core muscles. So we're not like this and dropping our hips. So tuck your hips under, pull your abs in, keep your gaze in front of the mat. One more breath. And then all together, knees come down as we exhale. Our elbows go straight back, chest to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. We lift up. Exhale, we lower. We retuck those toes and we come back to that downward facing dog or maybe just a child's pose. Right, you can always come to that child's pose. If you need a little break. So let's do it one more time. Inhale, come forward to that high plank. So if you did that extra challenge this morning, you'll want to lift that other leg, okay? If not, hold here. Maybe one knee is down rather than what you normally do, two knees. So maybe you're ready to challenge yourself a little bit this morning. Brace your core, keep breathing. You should be getting nice and warm. And now exhale, both knees come down, chest to the mat, all the way down. Flatten your toes, inhale, lift up. Using those back muscles to pull yourself up. One more breath. Exhale, lower. Retuck the toes. Down dog. One last time. We hold this one here. So we're getting nice and warm. We're going to slowly bring those feet up to meet our hands. So if you have to take your hands off the mat to do so, you can. We're going to find the top of our mat and find a forward fold here. So I'm turning my head just to make sure you guys can hear me. We want to make sure that your head is really heavy, totally relaxed. We'll crisscross our arms and grab our elbows and come into a rag doll. So just like a doll, you're just kind of letting it all go here. Shake it out. Let that upper body feel heavy. And then we're going to reach those arms out to the side as we inhale, come up to standing. Nice and tall at the top, our palms come together. We take our gaze there and exhale. We lower our hands to heart center. Okay, so we're going to go through a couple of poses here to get a little bit warmer, focus on core and strength, and then we'll take it to the floor to do lots of stretching. So we're going to stay right here, and we'll start with our right leg. So inhale, come on up. Exhale, float it down. That can look however you want it to look. I'm always too close to the wall. <laughs> Inhale, let's find a flat back. So here I want you to imagine you're squeezing a pencil in between your shoulder blades and you're extending your legs totally straight back. Our head is up, you're bouncing, a glass of water on your back. Exhale, let's lower it down. Let's go ahead and step back our right leg and then our left leg. <laughs> Coming into that downward facing dog once again. We're going to bring those feet together. We're going to open up our hips first. So inhale, that right leg lifts up. 
okay? If at any time you need to, while we're doing this, you can lower to your right knee. Just wanna show you that first, okay? <clears throat> we're gonna bend our knee. You can relax your foot. We're gonna draw circles with that knee. So we're feeling the heat build. You're making circles. Remember, you can do this with your other knee on the floor for a little extra support. We're opening up the hips, okay? Reverse your circle. So I'm doing modified. <clears throat> do a couple more circles, open it up. And then we're gonna take our knee into our chest. We're gonna place our foot onto the floor. So our left knee comes down behind us. Okay, we'll give a little bit of a break. Untuck that toe. Use your core, lift yourself up. Inhale, those arms reach up. Palms come together as we exhale, lower. We're gonna hold this right here. We're pressing through that left hip flexor, opening it up. <clears throat> Just wanna make sure it's nice and warm before we get started here. One more breath. Shoulders down, chest up, inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Let's go ahead and step back and we'll just do the same thing on the other side. Step it back. You guys stay there. I'm just gonna switch so you can see. Now our left leg goes up. All right, we're gonna bend that knee and draw circles with it. Okay, so it doesn't matter how high you get your leg. We're just making circles. Maybe you've lowered down to your other knee. You're gonna reverse those circles. Okay, opening up the hips. Small circles, big circles, whatever you'd like. Warming it up, and then that knee comes into the chest. We plant that foot down, maybe with a little assistance. Lower that back knee, lift your chest up. Use your core to pull everything into the center of the body so we don't wobble. Inhale up, exhale, palms come together, and we lower. So we hold here for just a few breaths. So remember when we're in the slow lunge, that we don't want to push too hard and dump into our lower back, okay? You want to tuck your hips under a little bit and engage your glutes a little bit here so we don't fill that low back. Chest stays up. One more breath. You should feel that stretch in that right hip flexor. Inhale up or whichever side you're on. Exhale, come down. Let's step right back to that downward facing dog. And hold this right here. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, walk your feet to the top of the mat. Or maybe you're ready to jump. Inhale, reach those arms up. Big deep breath. Palms come together. And exhale. Okay, so now our hips are a little more open. Inhale, let's lift up. Exhale, float it down. All the way down. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Remember this flat back here. Exhale, lower. Okay, let's step our left foot and then our right foot back. Downward facing dog. Okay, so we're gonna come into a standing pose the same way. We're gonna bring our feet together. You're gonna bring that left leg up as you inhale. Exhale, bend the knee. Place it in between your hands. Okay? Back leg curls down into the floor, heels in the floor. We're gonna find a warrior one. So we're gonna lift our chest. We're gonna reach those arms up as we inhale and exhale, we're gonna hold. So holding this warrior one, <clears throat> I'll show you from this position. So this back leg is nice and straight, your heel is glued into the floor, your front leg is slightly bent. Our hips are facing the front of the room. One more breath here. Inhale, we take those arms down. We're gonna interlace our fingers behind us. Or maybe we're just reaching for our elbows. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, while you're squeezing your shoulder blades, start to lower your chest to your thigh. Okay, so even if you're maybe just here, you'll have to interlace your fingers. That is the goal though. So lower your chest to your thigh, then relax your head. Continue to reach your arms up. So I want you guys to hold this. This is humble warrior. We're sort of bowing down, letting go of everything that isn't good for us. 
letting it go here. Trying to get your head to the mat. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades together. I want you to think of pressing into that left foot, that back foot, as much as your front. Take one more breath. Inhale, slowly lift up and exhale, release. Good job. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, we're gonna open right up to a warrior two. So this is a wider stance. Your front knee is bent a little bit more than before. Back leg is out a little wider. Both arms are straight out, okay? Now here, again, tuck the hips under so that you engage the core. Or else you're gonna feel your low back tomorrow in a not so good way. So always engaging your core, right? We're looking over that middle finger, that left arm. Okay, inhale, we're gonna lower our forearm to our thigh and just reach this arm overhead. So sort of making a diagonal line with our body, okay? We're gonna do that just a couple times, add a little movement. Inhale, we're gonna come back and exhale, we're gonna lower. Reach that arm overhead. One more time, inhale, come back. So you're sort of doing a side crunch. Exhale, right? Hold it here. Building a lot of heat, a lot of strength here. Let's come back to that warrior two. Flip that palm, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna reverse. So now we're taking your gaze up at that hand, sliding that hand on the back of the leg. Hold it for one more breath. And then slowly come back to warrior two. Inhale, exhale, let's cartwheel those hands down. Take your heel off the floor. We're gonna go ahead and find the mat with our back leg. Untuck that toe, perfect. Now if you have your pillow or maybe yoga blocks, you can certainly use them here if you'd like to. We're gonna reach those arms up one more time, inhale. And then exhale. We're gonna press that hand into the floor and extend that opposite arm up. So right now we're just coming into a twist. So whatever leg is in front, that's the arm that's going to twist. Reach it up. Big twist here. Maybe that hand just comes to your hip and you're just twisting from that shoulder. Try to hold it for one more breath. Come back down to the floor. Let's re-tuck that back leg. Good job, guys. Step back to downward facing up. Or maybe a child's pose, right? Inhale, let's come forward to our high plank. We'll go through this sequence each time. Exhale, we lower the knees, we lower the chest. All the way down. Inhale, baby cobra, big stretch. Exhale, tuck the toes. Up and back to downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths. Hold that there, you should be nice and warm. So what we do on one side, we have to do on the other. Hold that there, good job. One more breath. Inhale, you're gonna bend those knees. Exhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Find that forward fold. And then inhale, reach those arms up. Palms come together and exhale. We lower. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other side. I'm just gonna face this way so you can see me open up from this side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float it down. And inhale, flat back. Big deep breath here. And exhale. We step back to downward facing dog first, okay? So we're getting into our position a little bit harder, a little bit more challenging here. Hold this right here. Inhale, you're gonna lift that leg up. <clears throat> so this would now be your right leg. As you exhale, you're gonna bring that foot right in between your hands. We're gonna press that back heel into the floor. We're in warrior one. Reach those arms up as we inhale and exhale. Hold this here. So from this view, I wanna make sure that you see my hips are facing forward and not turned out, okay? That back heel is glued to the floor. We're gonna reach those arms up. We're gonna hold this for one more breath and then come into that humble warrior on this side. So inhale, those arms come down. We interlace. 
Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift the chest, inhale up, exhale, start to lower. So you're lowering your chest. Hold this right here. So with every exhale, you're getting a little bit lower. You're bringing your chest to your thigh. You're pressing into that back leg. That heel is really pushing, reaching those arms up, relaxing that head. Hold it for a few more breaths. Let's see it. So you're on the other side. Hold this here. Keep breathing. You got to push into that back foot as much as you're right. Looking good, guys. One more breath. And then slowly pull yourself back up. Big deep breath. Inhale. Let it go as you exhale. We're going to open up into warrior two. So inhale up. Exhale. Open up from the hip. Take a bigger step back. And find this warrior two on the other side. So that front leg is bent a little bit more. You're a little bit lower. Stance is a little bit wider. Arms out. We're gazing over that middle finger of that front arm. We're also tucking our hips, making sure our core is working. <clears throat> so we, don't want, we don't, don't want that arch in our back, okay? So tuck the hips under, hold it here. So now we're gonna add that crunch on this side as we reach our arm. So inhale, that front arm lowers. You do a side crunch with the body, legs don't move, and just reach that arm overhead. Hold for a second, so you should be able to see in your view that you're sort of making a diagonal line, right? And then inhale, we come back, and then exhale. So it's really just a side crunch, one more inhale, and exhale, reach. Good, hold this one right here for one more breath, dropping those hips low. Inhale, we come back up to warrior two. Exhale, flip the palm, and now reverse your reach. Looking up at your hand, sliding the hand on the back of the leg. Getting a big side stretch here. And then inhale, we come back to center. And exhale, we cartwheel those hands down. We place them on either side of our foot. Back heel comes off the floor, and then we lower to our knee. So we're going to balance and then twist. So inhale, arms up. Hold this here, and then exhale, hands come down. Inhale, we press into that front hand. Exhale, we twist with the other. So whichever leg is in front, it's going to be that same arm that's reaching up and twisting. So if that arm can't extend, maybe we place it to the hip and just encourage that shoulder to twist. I want you guys to hold it for two more breaths, then try to twist another inch here. One more breath, you got this. All right, and then come on down, nice job. We're gonna retuck that back leg, step back to down dog, or hold your child's pose until you're ready, right? Down dog, inhale forward. Maybe you add a little extra challenge and lower without lowering the knees. And then you can move into upper face of dog, just an option, exhale back. Or maybe you're here in child's pose. So two breaths, wherever you're at. And then inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, walk or hop to the top of that mat. Inhale, reach those arms up, good deep breath. Palms come together and exhale. All right, great job. So we're gonna do it one more time through adding on a couple more layers. So inhale, lift up and exhale, float it down. Let it go. Halfway, flat back. So really pulling those shoulder blades together. And then exhale, lower. Step back to downward facing dog. Hold this right here. We're gonna bring those feet together. You're gonna lift your right leg up as you inhale. Exhale, we're gonna bend that knee, place it right in between our hands. We're going to go right into warrior two this time. So you're going to open up to that left hip, bring your arm up, and then the other arm, and find this warrior two. We're right back here. So you want to press through that back leg, get as straight as we can. Hold this here. So we're going to practice that side angle one more time. 
making sure that knee is right on top of that toe. Go ahead and check. Shoulders up and then lower. Tucking your hips under and hold. Let's do one more breath. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, take this back. Reverse your warrior. So find that big side stretch before we go into the side angle. Now, what I want you to do is straighten out your front leg. Think of pushing into the floor to get a little more length. Yeah. Breathe. And then inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, hold it here. So we're gonna bend that front arm. This time we're gonna sweep the other arm down and then reach it up. So our left arm, reach it all the way up. And we're gonna find this extended side angle right here. So when we're here, we're gonna stay here for a couple breaths. Wanna make sure we're not putting all of our weight into that front leg. It's easy to sort of relax here. What I want you to do is really push into your back leg. So then you try to find a little more length. Okay, you can watch yourself. Make sure you're making a nice diagonal line. If you want a little extra challenge, maybe you slide your right hand a little bit further down and try to reach for the floor. Maybe you extend your arms straight out like this. Maybe you add a little bind here and reach around. So just a couple options. I'm going to stay right here. Hold this. Remember, our hips tend to go up in this pose, so I want you to really drop them down. Press into that back leg. I know legs are on fire. Hold it wherever you're at for one more breath. Push into that back leg. Woo! Inhale. Great job, guys. Exhale. Take those hands down. Place them on either side of your foot. Heel comes off the floor. So this time we're going to keep our leg off the floor unless you really need to put it down. Okay? Hold this here, we're gonna go into our twist. So pressing that left hand down, as we exhale, we add that twist. So again, you have that option of lowering that back leg. Add that twist. So let's see it, hold that twist, whatever version you're doing. <clears throat> Good job, guys. You can drop that leg if you need to. Hold it for one more breath, big twist. And then slowly come back down. Great job, step back. Ooh, downward facing dog. Or maybe just child's pose, okay? So you have the option to go through this again, where you're in a plank. And then you lower down. We lift up, and then we come back. All right, guys, one more push. And then we're done with the hard stuff. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, walk or jump to the top of your mat, find your forward fold, inhale, reach those arms up, nice and tall, palms come together, and exhale. Just have to do the other side. Is everyone doing okay? Thumbs up, we're good? All right, remember, take this at your own pace, slower, faster, whatever you'd like. Inhale, up, exhale, float it down. Let it all go. Find that flat back, stretch out through the legs, and exhale. We step back, downward facing dog. Hold this here. So we did our right leg up. This time our left leg lifts up nice and high. Inhale, exhale, bend that knee. Foot goes in between the hands. Notice how I have to help myself there. <laughs> Press that heel onto the floor. We come up to warrior two. Right arm, cartwheel, left, and then we're there. And hold. So remember that we're pressing into that back leg, our hips are tucked under, our knee is right on top of that toe. So I know you're gonna feel this, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable, that's okay. Shoulders down, remember arms are really strong and straight out. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, flip your palm, take it back. We take our gaze up to our hand to challenge our balance. So we're gonna get ready for that side angle on this side in just a moment. I want you to push into your front leg. Lean back a little bit more. One more breath. Ooh, big stretch, inhale. Come back to warrior two. 
exhale. So now we're going to lower that front arm. We sort of tick tock side crunch here. This arm comes down, we sweep the mat, and then we open up into our side angle. Remember, diagonal line from these fingertips all the way down to our heel, okay? I just want you to breathe. Think about pressing into your back leg. You can take your gaze up at your hand, maybe add a little more rotation over those options. That bottom arm can come down. Maybe you add a little twist here and reach under, whatever you wanna do. Maybe you take a little break like I needed to for my leg and then come back into it. Try to hold for two more breaths. Let's make sure our weight is not all on that front leg. Push into the toes of your back. One more breath. And then inhale, come back up. Awesome job. Woo, exhale. One more thing, we got the twist. Hands come down, okay? I'm gonna lower to my knee for just a moment. Okay, we're gonna press that right hand to the floor. Inhale and exhale, we twist the left. So remember that extra option is with that knee off the floor. So if you are doing this, hold on to it. Really press through your heel and try to get that back leg as straight as I'm doing right now. Press. I'm shaking a little bit. One more breath. Ooh, slowly come back down. Lower that knee if you need to. We're gonna step right back to downward facing dog. Excellent job. So you can go through this sequence one more time, or just find a child's pose. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, exhale. Now everyone find a child's pose. <clears throat> Knees wide, feet together, sit way back into your hips and your heels and breathe. And then slowly <clears throat> walk those hands up. <clears throat> We're going to come down into our chest and our belly and sort of stretch out those quads and hips. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but I'm sweating a little bit. So let's come on down nice and easy here. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to turn our head to the right. Make sure that your neck is turned as well and also getting the stretch. We're gonna grab that right foot. You're gonna press your thighs into the mat and we're just gonna hold for a couple of breaths. And then let's go ahead and release. And now to the other side, making sure that head really turns to get that neck stretch. So all the way over, you grab your left foot and you press and you hold. Hold it right there. Now, if you <clears throat> do yoga pretty regularly and you wanna try bow pose, where you grab both at the same time and try to lift up, you're more than welcome to do that. Just readjusting my thing here. So hold that there for a couple more breaths. Really pressing those thighs into the floor and then slowly relax. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and interlace our fingers behind us. <clears throat> Just like we did in that humble warrior. You're going to keep your legs nice and wide. Inhale. We're going to squeeze and lift. So our legs stay on the floor. We're just lifting our chest. We're squeezing those shoulder blades together. You're going to keep your neck nice and long. We're going to hold this for eight, seven, six. Five, maybe now if you want the extra challenge, lift your legs off the floor. Three, two, and one. Relax. Turn your head to one side. Let your shoulders roll forward and take a breath or two here. Let's tuck our toes, press ourselves up nice and easy. We're going to flip onto our back. Before we come all the way down, we're gonna find a yoga boat pose just to work our core a little bit here. 
So what you want to do is find a nice comfortable spot on your mat. We're going to reach right behind our knees before we start. We want our shoulders down and back. We're going to pull those abs in towards our spine, glue them together. We're going to lean back a little bit, and then you're going to practice lifting one leg off the floor. Now that's pretty challenging for you. You can stay here and just switch sides, or maybe you try to lift both. Okay, so now we're balancing. You should feel your core muscles, okay? We want to turn off everything else, core muscles working. All right, even more of a challenge. Let go. Oh, now I feel the abs. My arms are out to the side. Maybe add a little movement too. Oh, I feel them a little bit more. So if it's just too much for your hips or back, you can just stay right here and just lower down a little bit. Even this right here is working the core. Okay, so this is not enough for you. Maybe legs straight, right? Maybe you go down a little lower and come back in. So wherever you're at, pick one of those. We're gonna hold it for eight, seven, pull those abs in, six, five, shoulders away from the ears, four, make sure you're breathing, three, two, and one. Woo, let's come back up slowly. We'll find us a quick butterfly stretch before we come down into our back and get our hips a little bit more. Great job. All right, let's go ahead and roll that down. So nice and slow here. Nice and slow, we're gonna hug those knees into our chest. Rock side to side, massage the spine. You wanna make sure you have plenty of room around you. What we're gonna do next is hug our right knee into our chest. You're gonna place your hands under your knee, not on top, so we don't smash it, okay? So left leg is extended, feeling that stretch. We're gonna make circles with our hip. So similar to what we did earlier in that down dog position, and then reverse those circles. So if you feel your back popping off the mat anytime, you can bend that other leg and that will give it a little extra support. Okay, but now I want you to extend it out because now we're gonna cross that knee over to the side. So over to the left, we extend our right arm out. We look over that shoulder for a spinal twist. And take a few breaths here. Just allowing yourself to let go of any tension. And then we'll slowly come back to the center. We'll extend that leg, shake it out, and get ready for the other side, okay? So now it's our left knee. Again, reaching underneath the knee here and just making little circles in one direction. This hip is really tight for me, so I'm gonna bend that other leg. Give myself a little extra support. You're gonna reverse those circles and making sure that there's no strain in our upper body. So our shoulders are relaxed. We're not straining to pull our knee into our chest. Okay, we're gonna reach it across the body, extend that left arm, look over that shoulder, spinal twist, so you're looking over the opposite direction that your knee is going. And then let's come back to the center. We're going to shake that out. We're going to reach those arms overhead, make ourselves a little bit longer. Okay, we're going to come back to our pillow. So I'm going to do a little bit of blasting here before our last stretch, sort of an inversion. So we just take, we're taking our weight off our feet, our ankles, and our hips, trying to get our hips and legs higher than our heart. So you can do this with the block or a pillow. The first option is just a supported bridge. So lifting up into a bridge. And just slide in that pillow underneath. It should feel comfy. <laughs> and maybe you want to go a little higher. You can add a couple more pillows. So you can stay in your supportive bridge or use a yoga block if you have one. Maybe you want to take it up a notch. And while you're here, maybe with two pillows stacked, you actually lift your legs up and straighten them out and just sort of leave them hanging out here. 
If you have space, you can put your legs up against the wall as well. So if you have really tight hamstrings or lower back pain from time to time, that's exactly what I would do. Scooch up to a wall. You don't have to get all the way up to it. And then you just go like this. And then maybe those arms reach overhead. So I'm gonna stay here up against the wall. So a couple options for you, choose what you like. And we'll just hang out here for a couple of reps. Before we finish, we do have a couple more minutes. So with legs against the wall, we're getting a nice big stretch for our hamstrings. When we're in our supportive bridge, we're stretching out our hips and really just giving our lower back a break all the weight that we put on it, even when we're sitting. So if our legs are up against the wall, we're gonna start to sort of sliding them down and bending our knees, unless you really wanna stay there <laughs> for the end of class. You're gonna roll over. If you're on a pillow or block, you're gonna lift up gently just so you can move it off to the side. You are gonna stay on the ground. So we'll finish here in our relaxation pose. So again, if you wanna stay in your spot, you can stay in your spot. Or maybe you want a foam roller and you like how that feels. I'm gonna take a quick happy baby for a final stretch for my spine. So you just lift your legs up, you grab your toes, and we just sort of flatten our back here. We rock side to side, and it feels really good. And then when you're ready, just find a relaxation pose. Close your eyes. And again, maybe the hardest part of class, but just try to focus on your breath and your body and push everything else off to the side. And you're going to slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Slowly start to move your head from side to side. Begin to extend your legs straight out in front of you, reaching your arms all the way overhead, taking a deep breath, squeezing every muscle of your body, and exhale, let it go. One more time, squeeze so that you lift off the mat, and then exhale, you press in the mat and relax. And we'll open our eyes, start to bend our knees, roll over to your favorite side, hang out there for a moment in a fetal position. And begin to slowly press yourself up to a seated position. Maybe back on your pillow, 
So we're on your foam block, cross-legged, whatever is comfortable for you. Taking your time. And we'll shrug the shoulders all the way up to our ears as we inhale and exhale. Just let it go. Let's do that again. Inhale and exhale. Let it go. One more time. Biggest breath in. And exhale. Let it go. And then we'll reach those arms up together as we inhale. Palms come together. Exhale. Lower the hands down. And we'll say namaste to one another. Thank you for making the time for yourself this morning and for everyone else. So you're all here together. Thank you guys so much for coming. <clears throat>